Will asks, um, I ran across a video pertaining to Envis antennas. Do you have one? Do you think it would be possible to use a pair of 40 meter or 75 meter ham sticks in a ham stick dipole configuration as an Envis antenna? And thanks for your thoughts. And you know what? I think what I usually say is any antenna can be an Envis antenna. Envis really isn't a mode of operation. It's more of a style or a method. So, <laughs> so you know, you need three things. You need you need you need an antenna at a very low height. Um, Easy to do. A, yeah. You need a free, you need a frequency that is receptive to skywave, you know, the, the Envis style communication. Uh, so usually it's one of the lower bands, 40 meters, 80 meters, even 60 meters. And um, you need an adequate um, power level, usually 20 to 50 watts. You don't have to, you don't have to, Envis, you're not pumping out a lot of power. It, lower power actually works a little bit better. So if you got those three things, it should work. I would and with that said, I think a hamstick dipole would probably be a fairly effective Envis antenna. Um, Lord knows where the you know that the you know those those antennas you know, they, you know they're pretty well pretty well compromised on those lower bands. So who knows where the where the RF energy is going? Right, <laughs> straight up is probably <laughs> probably going to be the case. <laughs> and the key would be to just try it. Right. Yeah. Put that together no, exactly. and just see if it works. Yep. Yep. What I usually do, um, what I like to do for Envis to, to see, you know, uh, how I, you know, how well I could communicate is every Sunday morning, our uh, statewide Aries Races group has a net, HF net. And, um, you know, I check in on that with a very, you know, a variety of, sty of antennas in the Envis manner. And um, we'll see which one's. You know, you know how many how many people can hear me? How many you know how many people I can hear? And that's 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 the way to do it. So. Right. <clears throat> when most Envis antennas are small, they're low to the ground. They're always, like yep. you said, they're a compromised antenna to begin with, and so mm -hmm. that's better than having to go the opposite direction, which is putting up an efficient antenna at an <laughs> effective height where it's you know all that's out of reach. So yeah, yeah, you can build it with a buddy pole. You can make a wire antenna for it. Um, Mm -hmm. And and five watts, five watts is good. I recently did a video with uh, Eric, who lives not too far from me, maybe thirty miles away, and he had a low antenna. So did I, and we used uh, I think I had ten watts, and he had five or six watts. It wasn't super great, but it worked. Yeah, and you don't need a lot. Yeah, and that and that illustrates the point. You really don't need a whole lot of power for Envis. You just, you know, twenty watts, five, you know, even even less, um, because it's you. You just need to send a, the signal goes up. And then it just sort of sprinkles back down again. Yeah. So. And it's it's not, you're not going to expect like you're going to talk to a net. It's not going to be like, hey, Michael, can you hear me? It's not going to be that good, right? <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get a, get a, get above the noise floor. And if, if, yeah. if, if, if they, if net control can't hear you, you're, you're bound to get a relay in. So you know, 45. So you have a nice drawing of an Envis antenna design at the used reflector just off the ground. Haven't tried it yet. And that's that's actually you know one tool to help direct your signal up is if you're using a wire antenna is to stick a wire flat on the ground underneath it. You know, maybe just a little bit. I think it's just a little bit shorter, same length or shorter, and that'll help direct that. You know, it, it just it just increases the ground ductivity so you can get that signal uh, going going upwards. Just like a Yagi would up uh, in a horizontal position. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.